Hello and welcome to this Ingram Micro podcast where we will be discussing the benefits of the Zebra services today. My name is Max and I'm the digital content lead here at Ingram Micro UK and today I'm lucky enough to be joined by Matt Rance who is the regional portfolio manager for EMEA at Zebra Technologies. Welcome Matt, thanks for joining today. Thanks Max, looking forward to it. Brilliant. So Matt, could uh, you give us a little bit more context on uh, on your role and what you do over there at Zebra for us? Sure. So um, I've been with uh, Zebra for a number of years now. Um, actually, my career goes back to when we were at uh, various companies before we were actually acquired by Zebra. But today I look after the Zebra services portfolio. So very much focusing on our core foundation layer Zebra One Care maintenance plans. Obviously, a lot of you are familiar with that product. And also looking at our advanced portfolio very much as we move into digital insights such things as our visibility IQ platform. So I'm responsible for both those products for Zebra and EMEA. Fantastic, thank you. So uh, let's start off by talking about Zebra One Care Maintenance, uh, the One uh, One Care Maintenance Plans, as you said, um, and the uh, sort of portfolio as it is to date. So can you tell me about what Zebra One Care Maintenance actually is? Yeah, so if you think of where we are today as a company, you know that we've got a significant market share of both mobile computers and printers. And uh, what our customers expect when they're buying these enterprise grade devices, they expect an enterprise level of service or maintenance as we should refer to. Uh, In times gone by, it was often referred to as break fix. Uh, I'd like to move away from that naming convention Really, what we're now offering is a true integrated maintenance plan. You know, we have products in the portfolio that range from just technical software support all the way through to an advanced next day exchange of your device. So depending on, I would like to think, what our customers, our channel community need from Zebra in terms of a services portfolio, we can map our requirements to those. You know, we know that our mobile computing portfolio uh, is probably number one market leading. And we have a very healthy service attached in EMEA. Just to give some examples of that, typically we transact around 70, 75% service attached on our products. So we are there, but what we're giving is that branded maintenance of you're getting that service from the source. So you're getting that service from the Zebra uh, engineering team because we are the hardware manufacturer. So therefore, those maintenance plans give you that reassurance that you're giving that expert level of service from Zebra as an organization. Excellent. So what sort of cover do the various programs offer? And maybe uh, if you can kind of elaborate on some of those programs as well. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I think that I would like to think that let's start at the heart of the portfolio, the heart of the Zebra One Care maintenance portfolio and a reminder. This is our core portfolio, and this is associated to both our mobile computers and our printing portfolio. So we have what's referred to as Zebra One Care Essential Maintenance Plan. It's called essential for a reason. It's deemed as needed. It, you, know, you need this level of maintenance. And the reason being is that it provides a fully comprehensive coverage. So what does that mean? Well, effectively, if you break it, we will fix it. We have a duty of care to repair the product back to the manufacturing specifications and return it to the user or the owner of that contract. And then they can have that device back knowing that we fully tested, fully repaired and integrated that product. So really that product, Zebra One Care Essential, sits at the heart of our portfolio. That said, we do recognize that we have requirements for certain regions throughout EMEA and feedback from our channel community of which 96% of our business is transacted through, we need to make sure that we cater for all options. So if I may, we'll probably start in, if you like, uh, the lowest step on the staircase of value, and that would be something called technical and software support. You need this level of coverage to get access to things like operating system updates, uh, security patches. So anything that's a firmware or software related enhancement that Zebra has shared, you will need this level of support to get access to those restricted software platforms. But it does do more than that. It does offer you technical support and you've not only got that software coverage, but you've also got that ability to phone our service desk if and when you need technical support. So that's the first step. 
As we're moving up the staircase of value, the second step would be something called special value service. And this is very much geared, Max, towards our value tier product portfolio. Right. So we've got very much a, you know, a value mid and, 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 and high tier product portfolio. Our value tier is something that will be typically on a three year product life cycle, something like our TC21 or our TC26 and some of our value mobile printers. We have to create a service that is reflective of that value tier product because typically they will have a three by three life cycle. Three year product life cycle, three year support. So what we've done is we've offered a special value service. This provides coverage for things like wear and tear, natural manufacturing defects that are over and above standard warranty. So therefore you can return those devices to us. We will repair them providing it sits within wear and tear. Now it doesn't give you that fully comprehensive coverage. If you need that, you can buy that as an add-on for either 10 or 20%. So now suddenly you've got, if you like, a bit more of a fully comprehensive model around those value tier products. But it's priced attractively because obviously we're working that value tier, dare I say it, sometimes playing in that consumer space. But really at the heart of the portfolio that we mentioned at the beginning, we have essential. Zebra One Care Essential. If you return a device to us, we will repair it in one of our depots around the globe. We will repair it within three days of it being in receipt of the depot. So when we receive the product, we will repair it and turn it down within three days. Now, shipping either side of that may change depending on where you are located within the EMEA region. But you know that you're getting three day in day repair, in day repair depot turnaround. And as part of that, you're then getting back your fully working and functioning device because it is fully comprehensive cover. Again, if you break it, we will fix it. Fantastic. You will also get access to all of those software updates, patches that I mentioned earlier, as well as technical support. And then finally, but it really is the Zebra One Care Select offering. This provides an advanced next day exchange of a device. What does that mean? Well, if you phone our service desk or you raise an automatic electronic ticket, we will replace the device. We will ship a replacement device fully working fully configured, ready to go out of the box. You then have to return that failed device within a 30 day period. So really, I like to think of that as a premium service, hence it's at the top of the staircase of value, but also it's very much focusing on what I refer to as mission critical. You know, you need that device replaced in the field. Perhaps you'll be looking at a healthcare opportunity where you need to make sure that device is done there. But as I say, at the heart of the portfolio is essential, and that's typically the product that we lead with in our services offering. Does that help cover the portfolio, Max? Yeah, definitely. It's amazing just to hear how quickly as well you can actually have uh, equipment back in your hands, um, which is brilliant, and that you've got the time to get it back to you, which is so helpful. So um, uh, are, there, um, are there any enhancements available for specific uh, operational needs that can be added to a maintenance plan? Yeah, I mean, one of the things I'm very conscious of, we have to protect the investments that we've made within the channel community. A lot of our channel partners that we work with offer superb value added services, their ability to differentiate in what is arguably a very competitive market. So we're always mindful that we have, if you like, the core base layer of the service platform, and then our partners layer on their value add and enhancements. That said, we do recognize that there are customers and partners out there who would like very much to provide those services from Zebra. Again, back to that service from the school. So what we have is we have things like commissioning services. If you purchase a commissioning service as, if you like, almost an add-on to one of your uh, branded maintenance plans, when the device comes back to Zebra, we can do things like making sure it's returned with a specific version of Android and security patches preloaded. What does that mean? Well, that's a time saving because now what we're doing there is saving because when the devices come back, they will get loaded with the latest operating system. Now, if that latest operating system is not part of your gold build, you will be required to downgrade that, reinstall it. So there's a bit of a time that you can associate to that and inevitably a cost as well. What we're doing is perhaps taking some of that heavy lifting away because we're already touching the device and repairing it. 
we've already got to put a version of software on it. So why not make it the one that you need? So that's commissioning the service. Yeah. We've also got a number of battery services within our portfolio. You know, we recognize because we are the leading equipment manufacturer is that over the course of the life cycle of your device, the batteries will fail. That is, that, that is irreputable. You, you have to understand that when this battery is inside your mobile device, there will be a point where it will fail arguably at least once within a three year product cycle, probably twice if you've got a product that's lasting five years. So you need a battery service that you can rely on. Yeah. We have three that are available today in the EMEA region. And just quickly, we'll run through them. So battery refresh. During the course of your Zebra One Care maintenance plan, for example, uh, 18 months into a three-year term, we will ship you a number of batteries. We will ship to the partner or the end user a box of batteries and say, here you go, you now need to replace the batteries in your estate. And that's okay. Yeah. But it requires somebody to go and then find those devices, find those batteries, and then replace them. Yeah. We also have what's referred to as battery maintenance. Battery maintenance, you shift the device back to Zebra. We will test the battery. And if it falls below 80% of its full capability in terms of charging capacity, we will dispose of it, recycle it, and return the device with a new and healthy battery. But again, as I'm sure you know, Max, that's going to require some logistical challenges because we're now shipping devices around the country with batteries installed. Yeah. So finally, the service that we launched this year is very much a proactive battery replacement service. And what does that mean? We are monitoring the health of your batteries. We are monitoring the health using our Zebra data services. We will then ship you batteries located by serial number. So I'm doing a one-to-one -one replacement because I've identified a battery that no longer has a remaining useful life. Yeah. We will then ship that battery, telling you what serial number the battery is that needs to be replaced, but also the serial number that that battery is associated to within the mobile computer. So think of it really that I'm shipping you the batteries, but now I'm gonna tell you what battery needs to be swapped out, what device needs to be replaced, so I'm very much a proactive model. So oh, yeah. they can be attached to any one of the Zebra One Care maintenance plans that I mentioned earlier. Fantastic. That's a great service. I wish they had something like that for my phone. <laughs> I was going to say, arguably, you could associate that to the idea that if somebody could tell me that my phone is no longer fully operational and therefore would ship me the replacement, it would be a desired opportunity. But I do think as well, this is where we're going beyond. Right? We are definitely yeah. now... Yeah. building upon that foundation layer of a Zebra One Care service. And I want to reiterate, these are not to compete with our reselling community. If they are delivering their own level of a battery maintenance plan, if indeed they are focusing on things like commissioning services, that's absolutely fine. But just remember that Zebra does have these things available to you if you need them. To, to move on ever so slightly, um, I just wanted to, to, uh, to sort of cover um, how, well, we know our customers and partners want more insight and data to act on. So uh, what are Zebra Services actually doing to address this task? Um, one of the things we quickly found is that actually um, a lot of the reporting that we used to deliver, a lot of the updates that we would deliver to things like um, um, our Zebra One Care maintenance plan was very much done in a kind of a, you know, I'll email you a report, I'll send you some information, or somebody might ask us for some level of detail and then we would respond. What we did was we actually recognised that we need to, we've got all this data, right? Data, all this data at our disposal, be it coming in from uh, the devices themselves, our own internal repair systems, our own service desk systems. Why don't we create a single pane of glass that allows a partner and or an end user to look at the health of their estate. So what Zebra did was they invested in something that's called Visibility IQ. And within your Zebra One Care maintenance plan, you have access to something that's called Visibility IQ One Care. This dashboard is giving you eight reports that are linked to things like repair. So the number of repairs that we've seen within the operation those that are deemed as no fault found. So where we've seen a device come back, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. 
and then we're returning it. And of course, that's going to have an operational impact. There's a downtime. There's a time and motion that you can associate with that device no longer being in operation. We can also show you information around physical damage. So if, for example, some of your devices are entering into that realm of, dare I say, abuse, maybe that's an opportunity for somebody to go and have a conversation around how best to use the Zebra products. But also we're able to share things like um, site trending. So you can see your best performing sites. You can see the information around software version, what security versions you're running. You know, I think we're all mindful in the consumer space. Your smart device is always getting updates for apps and security patches. You want to know that you're running the latest. Within Visibility IQ One Care, we're sharing that. We're showing you that information. Now, it's very much a one-way communication, Max, in that I'm telling you this information, but you know, you will need a separate system if you like to act on it. But if you think of it again, as we go beyond the core that is the maintenance plan, now I'm giving you digital insights that we'll be able to see by days, weeks, months, quarters, what's the repair trending across all of your organization. And there's no additional uplift for that service. You just have to simply onboard it as part of your maintenance plan. So very much that's where we're taking um, the next step, if you like, on this digital insight journey. Fantastic. And, and you're obviously talking about proactive battery replacement, um, but can you sort of talk a little bit as well about um, the sort of visibility IQ lifeguard uh, options as well? Yeah, I mean, one of the key things we, we notice is that if you look, um, I'm fortunate enough to have been in the industry long enough to remember when uh, uh, we had Windows Mobile or Windows, should I say, as a operating system. Oh, uh, like yes, I remember it. <laughs> so, yeah, hence the grey hair. You can see that I've been here for a little while. But the difference really, the real shift that now we are pretty much an Android-based you know, operating system for all of our mobile devices, so to speak, is that when it was a Windows platform, we typically did two releases. So you get a Microsoft engineering stack, not wishing to go too technical, but you get a Microsoft engineering stack release we would then provide a software update for our mobile devices and you get two of those a year. We know now that we're into that Android space and we're looking at things like Google mobile services and things like that, those updates are so much more frequent. You know, you're thinking now you're getting security updates monthly. You know, Zebra's releasing new OS patches and there's an interest there, okay? They are being released with security updates, as well as some performance enhancements, but mainly some of those are security updates. You know, as and when Google makes a change or releases a new version of operating system, Zebra has a duty of care to obviously make sure that we're able to share some of that with you. And what we're also doing within Zebra's lifeguard is we're extending the life of that operating system. Typically, Google as an organization, they will support an OS version for three years, as and when they launch it. So when Zebra launches, sorry, when Google launches a version of Android operating system, it is then supported for three years post that launch. What we're doing is we're extending the life of that. We can extend that by at least a minimum another two years because we're providing more engineering patches and fixes. And what we do within VIQ One Care is we're sharing that with you. Now, as a partner, you can leverage that. You can look and see what devices are out there, what version of software they're running. Perhaps that's an opportunity for you to provide one of your own value-added services where you can then do some software release management on your own. Um, so are you able to expand on the sort of VIQ OneCare offering um, and provide more insights into the health of mobile computers and printers as well? Yeah, so I mean, if you think if in terms of visibility IQ as a platform, as a foundation layer, it really does come within two products within the portfolio. So as part of your maintenance plan, integrated into that maintenance plan with no additional uplift, you get access to those eight reports in one care. But I'm very mindful that if you like, I'm, I'm opening the door to the amount of data that we have available and we can share with you. If a customer or partner has been using this platform and they need more insights, as you mentioned, Max, what we can do then is start to talk about uh, providing something called Visibility IQ Foresight. And now we are really making that leap into a true operational dashboard, looking at the health of your mobile computers and your printers. What we're doing now is we're able to open up to uh, over 26 operational reports. And I'll quickly interject there by saying that 
Just because there's 26 reports, it doesn't mean that somebody has to use all of them. You know, I always think typically what we should be doing is mapping visibility IQ foresight to a specific business challenge. If you mm. know there's something that we need to do around application analytics or battery health, what we can do is start to share that information via our foresight platform. So the foresight product typically is um, uh, an over and above. So you're buying it as an additional uplift over and above your Zebra One Care maintenance plan. We have a number of routes to market with this product, right? The question that I always ask anybody is, how do you want Zebra to deliver the data into your organization? And what I mean by that is that we can deliver it by doing such things as standing up an MDM tool, so a mobile device management platform. Right. And we can do that using something like SOTI or 42 Gears. And we will then have a visibility IQ giving you the operational health of your mobile and printing estate. We do recognize that those MDM tools that I mentioned, they've been around for years. You know, back to my history of being with the organization, they've been around for tens of years. So if you've already got one of those in situ, we can connect to it. But think of these tools as a data feed. They're giving us data into visibility IQ foresight that we then aggregate and present back to you. But really, the one offering that I think I'm really excited about is our IoT offering. So Visibility IQ Foresight IoT is focusing where we don't need any additional tools to connect to. We're using all of the tools that are at Zebra's disposal. Yeah. So we're using our own on-device technology, be it our mobile computers or our printers. Mm. They are sharing data with our uh, Savannah platform. We're then able to take that data aggregate it and share it back in terms of those 26 operational reports that I mentioned. And those reports remain things like, you know, device disruptions. What was happening on the device at the time that it was reset? Was it rebooted by an individual? Did it reboot on itself? We've got a wealth of battery reports. Thinking back to that um, user experience, we know that the battery is going to fail at some point within the life cycle of the hardware. So again, I'm sharing with you a number of battery reports within that. You know, one of the key things that we're doing is application analytics. What application is running on the device? How much memory? How much battery? How much CPU performance they're taking? Wow. And you could argue, Max, that there are people out there who go, okay, I can get some level of detail from an MDM tool for that. Yes, of course. We're not saying you can't. These tools are incredibly powerful. They're great. They're designed to do things like IT policy management, pushing down of software updates, pushing down of you know, applications to your device. And they're very good at that. And they deliver a level of reporting. But arguably, you're not going to give everybody in your organization access to these powerful IT tools. Typically, what you want to do is share them a, a dashboard that they can log into and see, is everything green? Fantastic. I don't need to worry. Oh, is there something here that's red? It's drawn my attention to it. I can then go and have a look at that and address it accordingly. And I'm also mindful as well that what we can do is do the historical data trending. As I mentioned earlier, we're capturing this data. We're able to share it with you by days, weeks, months, quarters, even yearly. So we're going way over and above what an MDM tool can deliver today. And also we can set up things like email alerts and notifications. So actually I'll send you an email, I'll send you a notification as and when something's changed within your dashboard, which then means that you're not spending every minute of every hour, every day, looking at the dashboard, waiting for something to happen. Great, so these are sort of like um, operation streamlining opportunities, really. Yeah, I mean, one of the successes that we've had recently is that, and I'll give you an example of this, it's where we were working with a retailer and a retailer had a number of separate devices. Um, what they've done is they needed to make sure that their store operations had visibility into the health of the estate. And again, thinking back to the messaging earlier, they already had one of these MDM tools which sat within the IT organization. But you don't want to give access to your store operations team to that tool. One wrong push, one mistake, suddenly you've impacted your entire operation. So what we did was we provided them with visibility IQ foresight. And what we asked them was, what reports are interesting to you? What data points do you need to reference within your organization? What they wanted to know is, how many devices have been utilized? 
You know, I bought these zebra assets, I've rolled them out across my store, but how many are actually being used? Do I need to repurpose some of these assets because I've got one operation that's perhaps running at 100% and therefore I need to repurpose those assets to uh, make sure that they're able to use them accordingly? But things like utilization, battery health, but also they wanted to understand things like device disruptions. So what was happening? You know, if something did go wrong, what was the cause of that? And interesting, what we were also able to do, because within Visibility IQ Foresight, there's the option to get the API data. And again, I don't want to take us down that too technical path. Perhaps we'll follow that up in another podcast. But what we're able to do now is get those API data feeds and link them directly into a customer service management platform. So what does that mean? Well, this particular customer was using ServiceNow as their management tool. So they had one single source of service management within their organization. We were able to push a Visibility IQ Foresight API for battery health into their service system. It will now automatically generate a ticket as and when those batteries no longer have a remaining useful life. So rather than somebody in this scenario looking at the dashboard or waiting to do uh, take action themselves, Zebra's already taken that action. We've already made it a complete end-to-end -end proactive service. So that's one of the use cases that we've been working on with Visibility IQ Foresight. And there are more available on the Zebra Partner Gateway if you want to go and have a look at those. Thank you so much. I wish we had more time, but uh, unfortunately, uh, that's about all the time we have for today. But uh, thank you so much for joining me today, Matt. I really appreciate it. My pleasure, Matt. And, uh, As I say, if you need any more information, please do reach out to me directly or go to any one of the Zebra platforms that you can go and access that information. And uh, yeah, look forward to catching up again soon, Max. Thank you. I was just going to say, uh, so obviously this is going to conclude our podcast today, but uh, if anyone out there does have any further questions, uh, please feel free to contact your dedicated account manager for more information. Um, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, stay up to date on all our upcoming podcasts. Thank you so much for listening, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks again, Matt.